this morning. To my listener, I'm a viewer there. This morning, by the grace of God, I'm looking at a topic titled Taking Advantage of Adversity. Taking Advantage of Adversity. By His grace, when we hear adversity, we are referring to a state of unpleasant condition. Adversary is a state of unpleasant condition that people find themselves in. It is fortune, calamity. How do we take advantage of it? Many people cast their pains, cast their losses, but we believe are the children of God. We have been encouraged to take advantage of adversity. Our test is Romans chapter 8, verse 28. And we all know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Romans 8 28. All things work together for good for the children of God, for those that love God. There was a popular song years ago that contained the lyrics, beg your pardon. Never promise you a rose garden. God of God, God of course, did create for man a beautiful garden of Eden, a state of perfection in which man could live free of any want. But man sinned against God, and God removed him from the garden. Yet, even now, God has promised. To deliver us from all of our adversaries. There are two ways to respond to adversity. We can give in and be depressed, or we can triumph over it and be joyful. The problem with giving in and being depressed is that the adversity do not go away and indeed seems to grow worse one of the best way to come adversity is to praise God in the midst of your tongue begin to sing to God or read a psalm out loud meditate on scripture particularly passage like Romans chapter 8 to 39 which include this wonderful assurance. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor power, nor things present, nor things to come, neither heart, nor death, nor any other creation shall able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Remember, our hope is not based on circumstances. Our hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. On Christ, a solid rock I stand. All other ground is seeking sand. Beside, as another song says, if I ever had a problem, how would I know that God could solve them? How would I know what faith in God could do? It is true adversity that we learn to trust in Jesus and through trusting to triumph over them. Look upon adversity as opportunity from God to grow in faith and to become a stronger servant. I pray by the grace of God that this enriched word of God will be blessed in our heart. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let us pray. Our Father, our God, I praise you for your constancy. I praise you for your grace and mercy. I thank you for your selfless love that rescued me from death through the cross of Jesus. 
you alone are worthy to be praised, O oh God. You are my hope and my son. Through your son, precious name, amen. I pray the Lord bless that word, bless this prayer, bless every word of today in your heart in Jesus' name. By the grace of God, I remember humble self, Joshua self one. Make sure you turn to one of our Lord as a patient. Like this, till then, stay blessed and stay strong. <laughs>